Back in the book segment tonight, rolling with Corolla, like most other Americans. Adam has been following the terrorist story, and he joins us now from Los Angeles. So what's the big headline for you? Um, well, first off, just how good a city Boston is, because, you know, the fact that people just got done. I heard a story about a woman who ran the marathon and then w went into surgery as a surgeon and worked a 40-hour shift. That just doesn't exist in Los Angeles. And the fact that everyone ran into sort of what was going to be danger, I mean, there was a second bomb there, there could have been a third bomb. It just says a lot about Boston and the people that live in it. And uh, as far as the coexist bumper sticker being on the car that got carjacked, that makes me laugh. The coexist bumper sticker. Now, let me just explain this. This was on the Mercedes we talked about top of the program. Uh, two bombers hijacked in Cambridge. This bumper sticker was on the car. I don't know what this is. What is it? it? It's basically a bumper sticker that shows all the different religions of the world and how we need to get along together when that bumper sticker could be shortened quite a bit to maybe just co. It doesn't need half the religions that are on there. And it's just part of the problem, which is everyone's the problem. Everyone's not the problem. There's certain religions that cause more trouble than others. I think we know who they are, and we need to focus on them and not pretend like it's the Jews' fault just as much as it's the Christians' fault in this particular case. But also, here's a question to you, Bill. Coexist bumper sticker on your car or this car insured by Smith & Wesson? Which car would be more likely to be Jack. Okay, I think we all know the answer to that. Um, as we pointed out, President Obama has not used the term Muslim terrorism in the Boston matter. I said there, there could be some good reasons for that. Do you, does that offend you? How do you see that? I, you know, this whole thing of, in, and it's been going on throughout time what did we do to offend them we must have done something to offend these people why do they hate us so much why are they blowing us up perhaps we play nice with them they will stop doing this they hate our culture they hate our way of life they hate the fact that our women's boobies get bigger our cars get longer our swimming pools get deeper and we're building skyscrapers and bridges and Allah is supposed to take care of all this decadence but Allah never does so they take it upon their hands to do it themselves and we act like well if we just make friends with them then maybe they'll back off they're not going to back no, off as long as we're off. enjoying the, our one of the bigger reasons life. though ge geopolitically is that the United States supports Israel and that that is one of the bigger uh, factors here. Now, uh, Corolla, what, you're some kind of race car driver or something? You, you won another race, the Toyota Pro Celebrity yes. Grand Prix? And is that you well, with the big bottle of champagne there? Is that you? Yeah, although I don't consider that a large bottle, uh, but okay. I drink pretty good. <laughs> right. So you won uh, this race. Yeah, Were there any other, who'd you beat? Uh, were there any other celebrities in there? Did you read Justin Bieber? Who'd you beat? You're missing the point. I won the celebrity category last year. This year I raced in the pro category, Ooh. and I won the pro category. Wow. And no one has ever won the celebrity and the pro category. And my six-year-old daughter said to me yesterday, has any other celebrity ever done that? And I said, nope. And she said, not even Obama? Wow. And I said, no, no. not even Obama. And, and then this she said, charity, well, maybe you right, should Corolla? be the president. This is for charity, right? All going all going to the Catholic Big Brothers. Good. Good for you. Big Brothers is a great organization. And we know you're daring because you hang out with Miller. So we know, we know you're daring, <laughs> and, and that paid off, and there you go. Adam Kohler.